Hi, my name is Jerry Jin, and what I'd like to talk to you today is about uh, the fields that GANs or ORMIS or plasma can form. Many times uh, fields are formed and one doesn't know where those fields are or what shape it's in, etc. And this uh, discussion will tell you how you can measure those fields and know where they are and what the shape of those fields uh, are like. And uh, let me just, you should also know that I have a number of other YouTubes in this series that talks about GANs and ORMAS, talks about the 369 energies, uh, so that uh, you can have a better idea of what I'm talking about here. And uh, in terms of detecting energies called BG3 and 369, uh, energies. Uh, should look at my YouTube on resonance, and uh, that's the basis of the detection of it. Uh, so it's uh, under Jerry Jin you, uh, YouTube, uh, uh, and you can find it there. And uh, much of this is also described, at least the 369 stuff and BG3 information in my book, The Seeker and the Teacher of Light. YouTube's that you definitely need to look at before this one is detecting 369 subtle energies of the torus structure and symbols and detecting GANs, ORMAS, nano, and plasma. And what is GANs, ORMAS, and nano, and plasma if uh, you don't uh, understand those uh, terms. And uh, the procedure for looking and studying these materials uh, of GANs. Uh, is that uh, I use uh, ORMAS uh, primarily, since that's very, very easy to, to make, and it's just one form of GANs, and uh, I have other types of GANs, but I'll just describe ORMAS since that's an easy one. And you just prepare that from sea salt solution brought to a pH of 11, and I describe how to make that in uh, my uh, book, The Seeker and the Teacher of Light. If you place uh, 10 mils into vials uh, or you can fill tubes with them, with the ormus, you can create fields and you can repeat the experiments that I've, I've done. Here's just a, uh, a view of a uh, vial of, of uh, ormus. And the disc I use are just plain old inexpensive ceramic uh, disc magnets and, and experiments uh, I'll, I'm describing. And Procedure is simple. Just place the vials or the magnets in various geometric forms and look for its energy uh, using the techniques I described in detecting uh, GANs and uh, uh, the 369 uh, symbols uh, that are there. And th the BG3 pendulum is uh, also described in a separate uh, YouTube. Okay, um, what I'll uh, show here are some fields that are created uh, with placing vials of ORMAS or GANs into different configurations. If you have a single vial on the left of, of a GANs material, you'll see only the 369 uh, energies. And if you just put a series of vials together so they're just right next to each other, you'll just still only see the 369 uh, energies. However, if you now uh, do a geometric form, such as uh, this triangular form, you'll find that both BG3 and 369 surrounds the form. If you create uh, a geometric structure like the square or rectangle, you'll find BG3 and 369 within that area. And as long as you have a balanced uh, set of vials, three vials by three vials, could be four by four, 10 by 10, it doesn't make any difference. You'll get the feel, you'll get the, the uh, 369 and BG3 energies within that area. A circle is just an extended form of a uh, square in a certain sense. So if you have a balanced number of, of vials, you'll get the uh, energies found within that uh, circle. 
if you have something that is not balanced, uh, such as uh, three by two, uh, you'll detect no VG3 and no 369. Same if you put a, a vial in the center that sort of disrupts the field. And if you have again, an odd number of, of you know, uh, vials on one side versus the other side, uh, four by three, you're not going to get uh, BG3 or 369. And if you put the GANs in a room, uh, the four corners of a room or four corners of a house, you'll find that the energy, the BG3 and 369 energy is not distributed throughout that whole room or house. And it'll go from the second floor, second bottom floor to the second floor. You'll still find that that energy. Uh, if you put another set of vials on top of uh, that first set of vials, uh, that in fact uh, destroys the uh, the the energy. And somehow this vial moved in this slide from that position to this position, but it should be up, up here. <clears throat> now, if you play with magnets and put the ma and pre pretend that uh, these uh, vials are, are in fact uh, disc magnets, and you place the disc magnets in the same configuration as my previous slide, you'll find that the fields uh, both BG3 and 369 fall within those uh, geometric shapes. So this, again, suggests very much that GANs and ORMAS behave like this magnet, the north-south pole, or better terminology, magnetic uh, and gravitational uh, uh, components to, to the materials. And it's interesting to note that if you have single magnets, the fields that are shown here lie on the surface of the table. But if you convert the magnets into more like a double torus by putting a piece of paper between two magnets, you think that that shouldn't have any effect, but it does have an effect. And the effect it has is that now the fields are three dimensional. They're above just like you when know, you had the square in you know, warmest files in the corners of a room, it fills the whole room with uh, BG3 and 369. Same thing happens uh, with magnets. It becomes, the, the fields become three-dimensional. Here I just showed again, if you have four uh, GANs vials at the corners of a house, you'll get, uh, BG3 building up or 369 building up within the house and you'll build up a significant amount of it. Uh, I built up the fields to 3,200 uh, BG3 units uh, within, within the house. There are certain cautions that one should take uh, uh, playing with this. Um, when, when you create fields, uh, the fields will distribute uh, the energies throughout that space. So if you have a toxin within that space, it's going to spread that uh, toxin throughout the whole room. And this occurred when a friend of mine uh, put uh, her GANs vials at the four corners of the house, but outside the house. And when the exterminator came and sprayed the outside of the house, uh, the the materials in uh, pesticides has a component that is a toxic called uh, vertical negative green. And what she found was that uh, vertical neg negative green uh, permeated throughout the whole house. And uh, that is a very dangerous situation. Uh, in the early days of radiesthesia, a uh, pioneer in the, the work uh, in radiesthesia built up a lot of vertical negative green using a physical structure. And his friend found him mummified one day, uh, the energies that killed him. And uh, the people in biogeometry know that uh, you don't play around indiscriminately with uh, vertical negative green.
So that's just a precaution if one carries out various experiments. And if you have fields made from tubes, uh, they're, a little, they're different from the fields made with uh, the uh, vials. Here you have a tube of uh, ormus, and you have the field of both BG3 and 369 around it. The BG3 fields um, uh, are closer in, um, basically it's about the diameter of, of the uh, ring of ormus uh, there, so that, that distance is there. Then beyond that, you still have the 369 energies, which go well beyond the, uh, the range of the BG3 that's formed. Uh, circle, square, and triangle, when they're linked together, sort of it behaves the same way. Uh, in fact, I, in fact, I, I made these in some very, very similar way. Also, uh, squares and triangles and circles are just deformations of the same basic uh, structure. But as soon as you put a third component into uh, the sphere, like another um, vial of ormus or another magnet, uh, that the field goes away. And same if you put uh, vials around uh, in a square pattern around the tubes, the fields of BG3 and 369 uh, go away. So what we've seen here is that Gans and Ormus and disc, disc magnets behave very similarly. Uh, that their behavior is based upon the Magrav principles of vortexing in gravitational, vortexing out uh, magnetic. And so magnet scans behave the same way. The fields uh, look uh, identical. Uh, so it again confirms the Magrav nature of both magnets and of uh, GANs and, and ORMUS. And also gives uh, further credence to the concept of the torus and the vortexing motions that create the, the torus. Uh, and I believe that uh, the, what GANS does is it orients uh, the, the energies and the materials within a space so that the materials are harmonized because the materials themselves are magnetic. Uh, the GANS is magnetic in, in nature, so they'll orient the other materials within that uh, a sphere, and that in turn uh, results in harmony because of the, the area itself is now harmonized, and uh, therefore you'll now detect the uh, BG3 energies. In any Magrav uh, material that I've encountered has the 369 uh, energies associated with it. And I think I've went, gone through this slide already um, and the nature of, of how fields form behaving like uh, magnets and the magnets will form the fields uh, because of the geometry of the magnets uh, or of the GANs. And as long as the, the fields are balanced and not upset by introducing something else that will distort the field uh, like another magnet or another GANs, uh, uh, you'll have a balanced set of uh, fields that have BG3 and 369 energies. Uh, this slide is my last slide here, and the purpose of showing this is to show you this series of YouTubes I've created to explain all of this information. So uh, the purpose of the YouTubes, the resonance concept, which is the concept for detecting these energies, uh, how you can feel the f energies and uh, what you need to do to optimize those energies and for dowsing and radius seizure so you can uh, detect it. Uh, you can secure your resonance, which is another way of saying do the things. Uh, there's three steps that you carry out that will optimize the uh, results that you get from uh, the dowsing so that it becomes uh, quite accurate. And uh, I teach you about the personal wavelength and you can use that to see if foods or drugs or supplements are good for you. It's a very important tool. Uh, there's a YouTube on the IM vibrational energy level, and you can measure that using uh, these tools. And you can see your vibrational level going up as you reach the IM state 
which is very easily done with a few affirmations. Uh, I, there's slides teaching you about how to detect 369 energies, what is GANs and ORMUS, detecting GANs and ORMUS, which is this uh, particular YouTube, and then the, uh, well, the, pre the previous YouTube that I created, and the fields of GANs, and then another uh, YouTube on the biogeometry uh, and uh, on BG3. With that, uh, I thank you for listening to this, and uh, I shall close the recording.